Milwaukee police are investigating the possible overdose death of a five-year-old boy. Investigators say it may have been caused by a fentanyl exposure. Fox 6's Ashley Sears joins us now from the newsroom and explains a 24-year-old woman is in custody. Yeah, the medical examiner's office identifying the boy as Caden Jones. MPD says he was found unresponsive inside his home more than a week ago. A small memorial sits outside of an apartment building at 37th and Darien. Candles and toy trucks are a reminder of the young life that was lost here. Investigators say five-year-old Caden Jones died on May 11th due to a possible fentanyl overdose. A 24-year-old woman is now in custody. Everything is a tragedy when it comes to overdoses, but, but with children it's specifically more difficult. David O'Brien is a paramedic crew chief with Bell Ambulance. He's not connected to the case, but sees frequent overdoses on the job. Due to the epidemic we're in with the opioids, unfortunately we're seeing a lot more than we'd ever like to see. According to the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office, since July of 2021, there have been five confirmed pediatric drug-related deaths. Children as young as one have lost their lives. The drug fentanyl has been involved in every case. So it's about 100 times uh, more potent than things like morphine, which means it takes less to have an overdose. O'Brien says every paramedic ambulance has a life-saving tool, Narcan, on board. It's a really effective, quick-acting drug. But it takes someone calling 911 to get it. We use it pretty frequently. So. For one young boy, it was too late, leaving a community grieving. Police say charges will be referred over to the district attorney's office. The case remains under investigation. Live in the newsroom, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. All right, Ashley, we'll keep on top of it. Thanks.